employees who care for children or work in support services at Akron Children's Hospitals won't be at work tomorrow. The hospital is placing them on unpaid leave. Janet Rogers explains why and takes us to a vigil held by workers and people who support them. Some workers and supporters stood in solidarity at a vigil outside the Beagley campus of Akron Children's Hospital, stating nurses for medical freedom and firing us. This is how you thank us regarding the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. We just feel like the heart has been stolen out of this great institution. They believe more than 100 workers will be banned from working in the middle of employee shortages, respiratory syncytial virus season, and when other illnesses children face in greater numbers than COVID are rampant. There's people from the PEDS floor, from the emergency room, um, from environmental, from um, the coders, uh, from respiratory. There's people all across the board. Chris Fellows, who retired rather than get the vaccine, is the only one talking. Others are holding out hope the U.S. Supreme Court will determine the mandates are unconstitutional. I reached down to Akron Children's Hospital requesting the number of employees who will be terminated at the Beagley campus here in Boardman and at the Akron facility. I also requested the number of medical and religious exemptions that were granted and who made that determination. The hospital administration has not provided that information, but states they are working with employees who express a commitment to be fully vaccinated. The chief operating officer states, we value contributions of every employee, but we must uphold our promise to provide the best care possible for every child in our service area. A vaccinated workforce is the best way to protect our patients, especially those who are immunocompromised, chronically ill, or not yet eligible to be vaccinated. But healthcare workers who are opposed to the mandates say the CDC has stated vaccination does not stop transmission of the virus. With more local news, I'm Janet Rogers.